Okay, so we have our nifty new hutch here. Um, but as you can see, there's a scratch in it. Um, by the way, this is the hutch that we got for absolutely free off of Craigslist. Like, nice wood. The only flaw is like a little scratch right here. And there's one somewhere else, so we'll, maybe we'll find that one today too. So the question is, Old English scratch ever for dark wood. I would say this is a darker wood than a lighter wood. So we're going to put this to the test. And because I know a little bit about furniture and refinishing, um, we're first going to clean the area with alcohol to get everything out of the crack of the wood so the, um, the scratch cover will actually soak in instead of just right on top of oils that might be sitting there. Uh, I have a couple cotton balls, one cotton ball for the alcohol, one to kind of pat dry it off as long as it doesn't leave little cotton fuzzies because those aren't cool, and then another one to apply the Old English with. So let's see if this Old English scratch cover actually works. Okay, so I have taken and saturated the cotton ball. And my camera doesn't want to focus on who cares. Anyway, it's a cotton ball and it's saturated with alcohol. I'm sure you can imagine what that looks like when it's not blurry. Um, so I'm just gonna take and clean this area. And you know what's really cool is as I clean it, the scratch almost disappears, which it will likely come back, of course, because I can, I can kind of see it. But that means it's probably not too deep and we should be able to cover it fairly well. Um, so here we go. Um, I don't recommend normally cleaning. See there, it's coming back after the wood dries. Um, so I don't recommend normally cleaning your wood with alcohol. That's pretty drying. Um, if you're going to clean your wood, use something like an old English furniture polish or some sort of um, oil-based furniture polish, not something that's alcohol-based. Because like I said, alcohol is drying and wood continues to dry out throughout its you know, life. So you want to keep it nice and moist. Um, I have a secretary over here. I haven't actually dusted it. I didn't plan on filming it. Ooh, maybe I won't film it. Um, but this bad boy, this has been in my family for, oh, sheesh, uh, since the 1800s. And now you can't even see it. Anyway, this bad boy has had cats jump on it. Like on the, as you can see here, it's like a, kind of at an angle. And so a cat, you'd think they were smarter than that, um, has tried to like jump on the actual, uh, part there that goes diagonal which doesn't work so well uh, so there's there's been scratches on this one and I have kept the scratches nice and um, covered anytime I see them and then I do give this a regular oiling um, I'd like to say at least every few months but at least once a year I give it like a really good furniture furniture polish oil so I apologize my camera is just being funny I don't know what's going on obviously it's me not the camera younger, when he was just a, a lad. That's my grandpa when he was a lad. That's one of my mom's little decorations that she loved. Um, there's my grandma when she was in her 20s, and then my grandma and grandpa when they were together. I don't know why it keeps going in and out. It must be the reflection. Um, and then there's my mom when she was a kid. And <laughs> this isn't funny, but um, I don't know. I guess it's been long enough. There's my mom as an adult. Uh, Yes, that would be an urn that's blurring out in my camera. So um, she passed away about eight or so years ago. Um, but yeah, and then here's a here's a frog that she made when she was in a mental health facility because she attempted suicide. But <clears throat> it's all good, you know. You learn from what happens in your childhood, and you hopefully learn and grow from it. So uh, my mom is a little baby in here. It was one of those pictures that you like. Um, you get in black and white because it was really old and then you take it to an artist to paint. Um, so I think that's it for now on the little tour and let's see if our... Okay, so um, that feels pretty dry right there. Um, I'm gonna just take this cotton ball and just kind of... I don't want to get any cotton stuck in the scratch but I kind of just want to make sure it's nice and... I don't even know if I'm focusing on it. Um, make sure it's nice and dry. So we're just gonna cotton ball that bad boy. Um, so here's our cotton ball with the Old English on it. 
Um, you do not want that stuff to like drip on your carpet or anything, um, or unfinished hardwood floors or anything like that. So here, we're just gonna just kind of bat it on, bat it on, like dab it on, and try to work it into the crack. That's my dog, I don't know what his problem is. I think he sees what he believes to be his cat outside. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna continue, I'm just continue kinda covering it here. I got some extra, so I might as well use it. It's clearly not making the, um, the scratch like stand out darker or anything, so that's really nice. Um, this is oil, but you know, the oil will kind of dry out a bit. Let's see how, so okay, we've got a scratch here, um, some kind of a scratch, or maybe it's some, there's like a nick, yeah, and then there's like some paint in the nick. Um, <clears throat> must have been rubbed against the corner or something when it's getting moved. Um, another scratch uh, right through there. Um, I mean, but honestly, this is like, this is a beautiful piece of furniture, and to get it for absolutely free is insane. So let's check on our scratch, because it's been a little while. Um, I was, you know, the alcohol dried up right away. Yes, alcohol dries faster, but let's look. I don't think I really see it. I mean, you can barely, 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 barely zoom in. You can barely see it. But once you zoom out, and then you just look at it like a normal person, um, I would say success, for sure. Uh, I'll probably put at least one to two more coats over this scratch um, just to kind of seal the deal because that's what I do with my secretary that um, I showed you guys and then I'm going to use it to cover the rest of the scratches. So um, over and out for now.